There is a famous saying which says the right time to plant a tree was 20 years ago and today. And that particular quotation is valid for our career as well. The best time to grow your career was when you started your career. Probably many of you are starting your career now or as and when you feel you should. So today I'm going to tell you out of the box growth strategies to fast forward and accelerate your career. But let me give you a warning. You don't need to follow all of them. You need to follow whatever suits you and skip whatever you don't want to, okay? So this is not a mandatory thing that you need to do all of them. But yeah, if you're able to do most of them, yes, definitely you can grow. One thing which students always ask me or uh, career professionals, biotech and pharma professionals, chemistry professionals ask me is, Whenever we are trying to grow our career, it, it becomes very difficult because the other person also is having the same degree, right? So if I have MSc Chemistry, you have MSc Chemistry. I have MSc Zoology, you have MSc Zoology. Or MSc Life Science, it's all similar, right? Like It's like all of us are wearing the same color of clothes. So how, how do you distinguish who is better, right? And that is a problem industry always faces. And what industry does is they always create some parameters which they don't declare to the outside world, but they use those parameters to find out the right person among the crowd, right? So if you understand the industry better, definitely you can grow in your career faster. So that's the point number one. However, let's me, let me start with the first one and that is embracing interdisciplinary research. So if in case you want to grow in your life, if you want to grow out of the box faster than anyone and grab success, so the First advice that I can give you today is embrace the interdisciplinary research, right? Now, these out of the box thinkings are very important for you in terms of, you look at this, everybody's doing research, right? So again, similar research. Why you have to embrace interdisciplinary research, which is commercializable, then only you will get embraced by the industry. So when you embrace interdisciplinary research, where for example, you are taking CRISPR, you're combining it with bioinformatics, or you're taking, um, say, uh, transgenics and combining it with bioinformatics or computational biology, or drug discovery and computational biology, stuff like that. So when you merge two technology, you do cross-disciplinary, interdisciplinary research, that is where industry gets attracted because then if you can help them accelerate their research process, they will hire you, okay? So that's the first point. Let's move on to the next point. Now, the next point for you is develop computational biology skills. Now, any kind of computer skills is always welcome, okay? Remember this, any kind of computational skills is always welcome. And if it is computational biology skills, you will definitely be welcomed. Now. Computational biology is a skill which very less people have. Very less people can embrace it because they, you need a technical, analytical mind to do it. And if you can do it, that's an amazing add-on to your existing research or degree or whatever research profile you have. So building a computational biology skill set is important. And that's my second point for the today. For now, move on to the third point. The third point is again an interesting point and that is to build a T-shaped personality. Where you have the T, the bottom part or the horizontal part of T is the in-depth knowledge which you have for your particular domain. So domain-specific knowledge. So for example, you have uh, domain-specific knowledge of cancer or bioinformatics or CRISPR or um, transgenics or you know uh, anything. And then the top of the T, the horizontal part. So the vertical part is your in-depth domain exp expertise and that the top part is your broad expertise into various other things also. For example, you have a knowledge of computational biology or bioinformatics or um, programming languages or quantum biology or artificial intelligence, machine learning. So when you have that, you'll be easily able to merge and do transdisciplinary interdisciplinary research. And that is one of the quickest way to accelerate your career to have a T-shaped personality. Now let's move on to the fourth point. The fourth point is one of the most important points and that is understanding the industry demands. In Hindi, they say, Apne dil se paray dil ka hal. the same way, ask yourself, if I understand the industry better, won't I be able to get employment faster? And that's the goal. So you have to go and analyze all the jobs which are being posted on Biotechnica. Go through every web page, every job posting and understand what is the demand and then write it down on a paper, okay? 
think about it write it down and analyze what are the skills this particular type of job is asking do i have that if i don't have what do i need to do to grab that okay and that will help you so understand in industry demands better if you have an analytical brain write it down and find out maybe use a excel sheet and find out okay what are the skill set required to become a crispr scientist what are the skill set required to become a bioinformatician what are the skill set required to become a cancer biologist what is a skill set required to become a computational biologist or a space bi space biologist and then use that right use that data understand it better that's how you can grow in your career so that's my fourth point for the day let's move on to the fifth one the fifth one is personal branding and networking now personal branding and networking is very important you see that we all have a linkedin profile nowadays and uh, i have you have if you don't have please make and what happens next so you go to someone someone's linkedin profile and either you are impressed or unimpressed right but when you are active there when you do a lot of personal branding for example uh, you did a certification at biotechnica right or you did an internship at biotechnica or anywhere you did it from anywhere or you attended a workshop and you learned something you attended a conference you learned something or you got an opportunity to speak at a conference you learn you said something right quote that put it on linkedin share that hey connections uh, i had an opportunity to attend this or you know participate in this and i really, really learned something amazing share right let your network reshare let your network like comment or dislike anything is welcome but when you do personal branding when you share that okay you have achieved these many things whenever you will apply for a job your recruiter recruiter or the technical manager whoever it is is going to go to your linkedin okay and he is going to look at how many recommendations you have got from you know seniors or superiors how many how many connections you have what kind of content you are sharing and what are your achievements right all this it's like your janam patri it's a digital janam patri so you should do personal branding and now coming to the next point which is networking see networking is not about just going in linkedin and randomly pinging people that give me a job networking is nurturing your network okay so like it's a garden right network is like garden so every day you go into the garden what do you do you nurture you prune the unnecessary ones and you add the new plants right same way when you go to linkedin you have to add newer people to your profile okay reach out to them whenever they share something and they are asking for help see how can you help and it works like this the ratio is 100 is to 1 or 1000 is to 1 okay whenever you are in need of a job in the future if you have 100 people in your network maybe one person will come and help you or maybe you have 1000 uh, people who are in your network one person will give you the job right so 100 is to 1 when people will help you and 100 1000 is to 1 when people will actually give you a job so you have to really nurture your network add more people to the network one of the best and easiest shortcuts i can give you is add me to your network okay and if you have done any kind of internship or uh, any kind of certification you can always take letter of recommendation from your um, teachers or mentors at biotechnica they will that will help you you can publish that on your linkedin profile that i received a letter of recommendation and people will comment that's something which will help you nurture your network let's move on to the next point now the next point is having a growth mindset right so if i wake up in the morning and i think that there's no use of what i am doing so do you think i will ever be able to do anything new no any kind of strategy will not work unless you have a growth mindset it has helped me tremendously you need to have growth mindset how can you have that by nurturing your mind with motivation by nurturing by telling yourself that yes it is very much possible to grow in this industry it is very much possible if i uh, do the right things which shekhar sir has told me i'll definitely get there okay keep doing it without even looking at the results results will eventually come but you need to nurture you need to follow these strategies whatever i told you till now for the next one year and then you will see results okay so you have to do this you have to have a growth mindset you have to follow the strategies which i told you and sit like uh, you know in San sanskrit they say bako dhyanam right just like a which sits um, you know a swan which sits with a focus on the with one single leg it will sit and focus on this particular uh, fish and uh, you know wait for the fish to come the same way you have to do so you have to you know follow all these strategies you have to follow a growth mindset you have to believe in yourself you have to believe that yes you can grow in this particular industry growth will happen i've been telling this for past 17 years people who followed succeeded people who didn't are commenting below every video of mine saying that there's no scope so choose what you want to become next and last one is stay motivated yes your 
professional achievements are a subset of your emotional achievements. Emotionally, if you are not sound, mentally, if you are not strong, you cannot grow. So all growth mindset goes out of the window if you're not motivated. You have to motivate yourself. Nobody else can go in, can do that, right? Pick out the positive things whichever is happening in your life. Write it down, okay? Be thankful for that. Do meditation, control your mind. Use the white horses, like I always say. Focus on the positive side. Keep doing the positive things. That's how you'll grow. So these were the pointers which I wanted to share, probably seven or eight pointers I shared. I'm sure there can be more pointers which can be added to this video. So the task is upon you guys now. Add below what has helped you grow in your career so far and what do you think will further become more valuable to other viewers of this video. And then let's have a debate. Let's come together to support each other. That's the goal. That's a mantra to build Biotechnica. And that's what has kept us going for the past 17 years. So all the best in your acceleration growth mode for uh, your career. Any problems, any questions, put them down in the comment section and you know where to reach out to me. Shekhar at Biotechnica.org. That's how, that's where I am available 24-7 with my replies to your emails. Thank you. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Namaskar.